What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, The Ready Nurse Nay, where I talk about nursing, healthcare, and inspirational related topics. So, um, if you're new here and you don't know what's going on, um, I recently graduated with my BSN, which is a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, and now I am preparing to be take my state boards and get my license from the state to be a state registered nurse. Okay, so um, currently we're in January of 2024 depending on when you're watching this you know when this video goes up right now on thursdays at 11 i have videos posted for january for january 2024 thursdays at 11 i have already my video scheduled that is talking about um the process of like applying and accepting your first job as a nurse is rn so i've done that already so check those videos as they're coming out those videos as they're coming out on i think wednesday or thursdays wednesdays my bad wednesdays at 11 and then these NCLEX prep videos I'm going to be talking about will be posted in January 2024 on Fridays um, at about 11. And so this is basically me just sharing my journey as I'm prepping for the NCLEX. So um, for myself personally, I have already scheduled my NCLEX, so I'm excited. I received my authorization to test email from my State Board of Nursing yesterday. And uh, I went ahead and I replied and I... Um, schedule my exam so your girl is scheduled so it, that's an exciting feeling because it's like oh my gosh but it also puts the pressure on it is like making sure i'm studying and being prepared so that i could take this test and pass this test so um that's these these videos right the my friday videos for january 2024 are going to basically be me um taking you through the process of me preparing for the NCLEX as a new grad nurse so um i guess the biggest thing in my preparation and my our advice as i am studying my own self it's just knowing that when it comes to in class text prep you have to like review and reviewing material and also practice test practice test questions those are your like your two big key factors that play a vital role in your ability to pass your test you know making sure you're reviewing um, the reviewing the material and also practicing a bunch of test questions that will be similar in a similar format of the ngn in class um, the way you can do that is either using um, using your own notes that you've taken all the way throughout nursing school. You could use your own notes. If your school provided you with like a, um, a NCLEX review session your last semester, using all those notes and things to basically review all the things that you learned about in school in a quickly manner. And then also using test prep questions. Maybe your school provided you with test questions on... Um, you know, prep, helping you prep for the NGN NCLEX. Or you can buy a book of some sort or find all the free resources available online or even on the um, the websites, the NCLEX website or whatever to help get you in the mindset of answering questions and how they will be formatted for the exam. So those are your big things, reviewing the material and then practice test questions. Um, I would say the study plan, you and then kind of figuring out what, what boat you're in. It's going to look different for everybody. So if you're a first time, if you're a new grad, a recent new grad, first time test taker, everything is going to be very fresh in your mind. You might have to do a quick review of your, quick review of the content. And then also, you know, just practice a bunch of test questions to help prepare you. Um, and really focusing in on if there are some areas that you maybe didn't do so well on in school. Or it was a while since you looked at the material. Like for me... The last time, I know I'm going to have to really focus in on my um, pediatrics and OB material because the last time I took those classes, it was like a year and a half ago. So I'm going to have to review that, you know, really well. And I have a plan for that. So that's one category. If you're a repeat test taker or if you've been out of school for a long time, your test taking plan and prep might be a little bit different. You might need to... Um, you might need a little bit longer time to prepare and study for the test or a very, very clear um plan if you are a repeat test taker so that you know that um you're not like missing out on things um and so what i'm doing i'm using a test prep, test prep course so i'm using archer um and so far so good i like how it's going you can kind of customize it to your own knowledge and your own um you know what you do know or don't know you can customize it um and they also have these study prep plans, crash course videos, a bunch of questions, and they have these study prep plans that you can kind of follow along with um, as you are using their platform. So this is kind of 
I'm gonna try to kind of hide some of it so you don't see all of it. But this is kind of what their some of their um it looks like this. It's like a chart or whatever. And it basically um I gotta take the test in less than three weeks. So I'm using the three week study plan and using that at, to kind of prepare for um the, the test so if you don't if you choose not to and they have more than just archery they have archery they have U world there's kaplan um ati um there's so many other test prep uh programs or that you can go on there and use they do cost they do cost they're 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 not inexpensive um you might be looking at paying about a hundred dollars or more but there's a bunch of test prep plan test prep <laughs> plans out there to help you to study for the um study for the NCLEX um if you maybe don't have the money for that or you just don't want to pay for that you don't have to you could use your own notes and pass NCLEX I have friends that have done it that you that have used their own um notes to review all of the different content and then just use the free resources available online for test prepping and questions and stuff like that and pass NCLEX with flying colors so you can do that. It just may take a little bit more organizing and planning on your part. And then you could also use like a, any one of those test prep um, found, um, platforms I just named to that have put all this stuff together. And so you just log in and review their videos, answer the questions and stuff. And that is your test prep plan as well. So either way, whatever suits you will help you to pass. You just figure out what works well better for you and, and do that. Um, as far as for like test prep planning, um, if you're doing it on your own, you can, you can Google, um, like Google NCLEX, you know, or in test prep plans, uh, maybe for three weeks or two months, however long it's going to be before you take your test. And they'll have like, it's like a chart and they'll have it. Okay. Study on this, on this desk, on this day, study this, on this day, study this, you know, like that. Or you can make your own. I started out with all my own notes and, um, putting them together and kind of making my own plan. But then I found it was a little much because it was a little much for me because I still have, <laughs> I'm still a wife. I still have a husband and a family and a household to take care of. I'm still working full time. So I needed something that was not gonna be as time consuming. I didn't have to go digging through notes, putting stuff together. So I'm using this platform because I heard good reviews about Archer online. I have a bunch of classmates that have taken, used this platform, only this, and they have already passed the NGN in collects and a registered nurses so i'm using this so far so good so based off of this study plan um this week i am reviewing fluids and electrolytes um basic care and comfort and position safety and infection control lines tubes and drains the nervous system assistive devices respiratory system and medical terminology cardiovascular system medication administration and endocrine system and ekg interpretation Along with taking, you know, along with taking, I don't know, maybe what, 200, 300 quest test questions. Okay. So it has it planned out really well. So um, I will say definitely give it a try if it's something that you're interested in or use any of the other platforms that you think may help you. So that's how my test prep is going now. Oh, that was a lot. Um, I find that I graduated in the beginning of December and we're at the beginning of January. So I've been out of nursing school now for a little over a month. Um, as far as like remembering the material, a lot of stuff that's that's in there is in there. Um, but some stuff is like you can kind of easily forget, you know, little specifics or details. So using this pro this program is helping to the studying and stuff is helping to like bring those things back to my remember, like bring them back to my remembrance. And then also helping me to maybe relearn stuff that I forgot all the way completely because I haven't seen it in a year, that material in a year or two years. Um, yeah, so that's how my study is going now, making sure I either wake up early and prepare for it before all my family wakes up and before I have to go to work and things, or I'm staying up a little bit later and kind of reviewing this stuff. And so far, so good. So I will let you know next week <laughs> how it's going. <laughs> all right, see you in the next video. Bye. Also, y'all see my cute little, my sister-in-law got this for me. It has my name and then BS and RN. Isn't that nice? I think this is so cute of her. I love it. Love you, sis, if you watch this video. But anyway, see y'all in, in the next video. Bye.